It's Morning Edition from NPR News and 90.1 WFYI. I'm Ray Steele. Meredith Wilson went from small town almost straight to Tinseltown, and he never stopped being a music man after he got there. He wrote for radio, then movies, then TV, symphony orchestras, then for presidents, and even more important than presidents, one of his songs was recorded by the Beatles. His story is being told in a new documentary, Meredith Wilson, America's Music Man. Chris Lewis is the executive director of the Great American Songbook Foundation. Their archives in Carmel have a plethora of Meredith Wilson material used in that documentary. Chris, welcome. How are you? I'm great, Ray. Thanks for having me. That intro makes it sound that Meredith Wilson literally did everything, but (laughs) that's not an exaggeration. He really did do all of that. That's exactly right. You know, if, if people remember him today, it is probably for The Music Man. And if he had done nothing else but write The Music Man, he would have solidified his place in music history. But as you pointed out, he was quite Quite prolific. He was an Oscar-nominated film composer. He wrote uh, the score for *The Great Dictator* with Charlie Chaplin. Uh, he studied at Juilliard. He was classically trained as a as a performer and composer, and he wrote symphonies, as you said. He performed with Toscanini, with John Philip Sousa, uh, and then he wrote other musicals, and 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 one of which had the song. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everybody hears and sings Meredith Wilson every year. I mean, he really was an important figure in American uh, music history. Now, this documentary was produced by Iowa Public Television. He's from Iowa. How did the archives get involved, and and what will we see from the archives in this documentary? Sure. So about 10 years ago, uh, when Meredith Wilson's uh, wife passed, uh, maybe 12 years ago, uh, we became um, the home of the Meredith Wilson papers. And so we house his entire collection here, and it's really one of the most comprehensive collections uh, in our archives. He saved every Everything. We have all of his correspondence, whether it was letters to his mom or les- letters to President you know, Eisenhower. I mean, we have all of his uh, correspondence, all of the scripts. You know, he wrote 17 drafts of The Music Man before uh, finalizing uh, the show and the music. And Iowa PBS reached out last year, uh, a little about a year and a half ago, and said, we have this idea for, you know, for a documentary about his life. It's never been done. Um, and what do you have? Well, we're, you know, still in the process of fully processing that Mm. collection and digitizing materials. So they came physically to the site and spent a week It's been their project, but we have been thrilled to support it. And what you see in the documentary, most of the images and photos and and uh, and items were from our collection. So it's exciting for us to see uh, all of those materials on the big screen. You're going to be showing a screening of the documentary, Meredith Wilson, America's Music Man. But in addition to that, you have a panel discussion with some of the people you just mentioned, and we will get to see some of those archives on display. Exactly. Uh, so last year we did the first, uh, our first uh, International Archives Day where we kind of um, set up a, a huge display of items from the collections and invited the community in because preservation is really the most important work we do, but it's the least visible, at least understood. That was a huge success. And so when we had the opportunity to do the Indiana premiere of the screening, um, we wanted to create uh, another opportunity for the community to come in and see and hear more about our work and, and why it matters why we preserve these materials so that these screenings like this, movies like this can be made. So we're going to have a, uh, a unique display of Wilson artifacts. You'll get to see some of the correspondence, some of the lyric sheets, some of the character sketches. Um, we have an annual high school program that you know well, the Songbook Academy mm-hmm. uh, for high school students. We're going to bring some of our alums in to sing songs that Wilson wrote that were cut from those musicals. So these are songs that the general public has never heard before. And then the panel discussion, as you uh, mentioned, it's going to be a moderated discussion about Wilson about uh, the time period, about the Music Man, uh, about the creation of some of those uh, musicals and 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 their uh, legacies today. Chris Lewis from the Great American Songbook Foundation. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Ray. You can join WFYI Live for a free screening, the Indiana premiere of Meredith Wilson, America's Music Man. It's Tuesday, April 11th, the Tarkington Theater at the Center for the Performing Arts in Carmel. Again, it's free, but space is limited, so you must register in advance. Find out more at WFYI.org slash events.